I just wanted to show you guys the purses. I'm going to insert this clip into, let me change it, into my thrift haul. I'm at Savers. I have a basket full of stuff that I will be showing you guys. Um, I just wanted to show you their purses. I never have the patience to look through purses. One is I don't have the eye to know to catch the true authentic pieces and so I only go to the stores to buy it like I don't buy coach I don't buy anything from anywhere but the store that is made at or I'll buy it from Macy's because I don't trust it and they'll just put a price on it and not knowing I'm over here in the purse section now look how cute this is <laughs> I'm in the purse section because I am still on the hunt for a fanny pack this is oh, it's ripped i need a fanny pack i know i can order it online but that's easy i don't want to do easy i want to find a fanny pack you guys so i just thought i'd show you savers it's a pretty big store um it's actually really big but the good thing about savers is they're organized so everything is organized by size all the sweaters are together all the shirts it's so organized and it's so worth the journey of course you know i already went to my dollar thrift look at their big variety of shoes these are all their boots i do want some velvet booties so i'll see if they have some of those everything is arranged by the size of the item and so they have a really big um selection of boots everything they didn't have any jackets like i'm used to but overall no fanny pack i'll take you on this side because there's even more purses here i go hey i went to the gym early this morning like six something so look more purses like i said i don't trust brands in the store and so I will never buy it from a thrift store because they price it based on the it having the label and it's not necessarily you know what it is but I'm at my size I don't need any more shoes but if I find some velvet booties I'm getting them so I'll see you guys later once I do the haul but this is pretty much the store it's pretty big see they have glasses are very organized i'm gonna see if i see something for my daughter i don't thrift for my son there we go i'll see you guys later guys i found fanny packs but this is not what i was talking about like seriously this is not what i'm talking about like these are grandpa fanny oh this is cute but no not at all like seriously looking for a beret I don't find any I didn't find any so please Louise no fanny packs no berets okay I just wanted to show you those were the three fanny packs so before I go home and do my thrift haul for you I think I'm gonna do it before I um wash the clothes so that the tags will be on the ones that I um, didn't purchase from the dollar store. I spent a lot of money at the other one. I just want to tell you I'm in savers. I'm in line about to pay and he tells me my whopping total is like $56. This lady was like um do you want a disc? I have a discount card and I was like oh yeah so she gave me it was her hero card and i guess it's from donating a lot it was 30 percent off so it took 13 dollars and 95 cents off of my total and then i had 50 percent off of two items which was 550 so i saved 19 dollars and 45 cents so my total was 42.62 instead of over 60 dollars so that was like so amazing. I was so happy when she told me that. I was like, yes. So <laughs> does that mean I have 20 extra dollars to go and spend? 
no because I set a budget and I was gonna be over it but I couldn't put none of this fabulousness back that I got I need to get dressed man I look like so like busted from going to the gym and everything but maybe I'll get dressed before I do this haul because I got a phenomenal piece that you guys have to see okay anyway I didn't do a proper introduction so yeah Hey, vintage beauty so like I said I will have a um, thrift haul and an update on my hair so my husband was like nope it don't look right because the ponytail is too straight and your hair is not that straight and so I don't know if I'm wearing this guys because you know when I'm on them streets people gonna be looking at her like she real foul for that like I was hoping they used to have this other ponytail and I guess it sold out but it was actually more the texture of our hair. I should have just got. It's my fault y'all. Anyway this is what it is. I may go back and get this other ponytail. Because I really want this ponytail. Like I really want to wear a ponytail. And they have this other one that may actually match better. Which I'm probably going to go back and get. It's like more of the braiding hair texture. But it's the same concept. The um drawstring ponytail but enough of that because we are here for a thrift video thrift video thrift video okay so look of course i always go to my dollar goodwill first and i got some goodies then after that i went to savers so this bag was 40 something dollars i have way less in there this bag was 13 dollars Anyway, let's bring this a little closer because I am 5'1". There we go. I have it on a tripod because my son is still at school. So we're going to start with this beautiful sweater. It is mustard yellow. Look at that. It says, um, ex I don't know what that says at the top. But classical, gorgeous, vogue and fashion, vogue and fashion, vogue and fashion. It is just this mustard yellow sweater. This is all my dollar items, you guys, by the way. This mustard yellow sweater, super cute. No rips, no tears, no stains, no anything. It has no label as well. So this is just a no, 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 no all around. It has absolutely no label nothing and so i'm really intrigued by where it comes from it's soft but there's no label no tags there is nothing to identify the maker of this sweater but whoever you are bravo 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 <sighs> next this is a 100 percent polyester shirt in size 10 it is vintage, and I'm going to say it's probably from the 80s. Um, very soft shoulder pads, so probably late 70s, early 80s, when they were trying to get out of the shoulder pad phase because these are very thin shoulder pads. And the tag lets me know it was still in the late 70s or early 80s. It's polyester, but I like the, I like the cut and the design if you can see it has like little diamond designs all through it's a really bright shiny red it has two um pockets on the chest area so i thought this is really cute it's bright red shirt i also picked up this lauren conrad um it's like an ivory color like blazer so it has the little quarter sleeves like this so let's just try this on right quick because i don't try on clothes at the store you guys i just don't so it's a size eight pretty cute let's move this back so we can see how long she goes hmm. pretty cute this is cute
sorry guys this is the same video my husband called and i took that opportunity to go look in the mirror and i can't do that ponytail my hair starts shriveling up because i told y'all my hair is not trained i didn't flat iron i didn't do nothing i did my bootleg blow dry as you saw in the other video uh yeah so it looks like i'm gonna be wearing this today and then i'm gonna pull out my other wig later because your girl don't play no games and i cannot rock that ponytail so she is gone y'all she is gone i'm happy it was only 13 dollars okay so let's get back on to this thrift haul my husband had to call me and that's what stopped the video now coming i'm crazy y'all i will not wear something if i don't like it okay money or not if i don't like it it ain't staying on my head anyway <laughs> next i'm gonna just get that ponytail to my mom i got this mustard oh you know what i think mustard is so beautiful on chocolate skin i really do i think <sighs> that black women even latina women can pull off mustard because of the depth in our skin but when you get a little chocolate that mustard look real good y'all but i think okay this going to stay like that because it wasn't working the other way but that's okay though this is cute you guys look at this mustard yellow top i think it's really cute i think it's really sophisticated and this gives it that classy sexy look where it's not trashy sexy it's classy sexy and so it's like okay darling yes darling that's what i'm feeling like right now yes darling with my faith 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 shirt on so yes i'm still working on that dollar bag i'll let y'all know when i get to the bag that wasn't a dollar this is oh forever 21 in a size medium so yeah another mustard yellow um, I picked up items that I don't usually get. So this is a long shirt. Super clean. I was hoping I could wear it as a dress and put a jean jacket over it. But once it goes over my hips and my butt, it becomes just a long shirt. So I would have to wear some leggings under it. It's not going to work, guys. <laughs> I can't wear it as a dress. It looks like it'll be a dress right here. It's not going to work. So that's why I got it. Oh, this is my favorite piece. I can't even show you that one yet. I got my daughter some things. I love when I pick up sweater dresses. This is an actual sweater dress. This is going to be so cute. And it has the turtleneck. So I would wear this to church. I have some brown boots that could go with this. I could wear my black boots with this. This is so cute. Blue, like I said, is my favorite color. So this is so cute. This dress is by um, Allison, Brittany. Hi, Allison and Brittany. Maybe their sisters and their parents were like, the company will be named after both you girls. Get over it. I don't know. So this is a size medium. Um, this is super cute. I like it. It's a dollar, so who cares? Then I just got my j Bay some stuff. I got my daughter some stuff. So this is a Zara girls top. So this was a good find for a dollar. This is cute. With the little lace detail at the bottom. The white lace. And it's like a really light gray shirt. I'm going to throw all this stuff in the washer once I'm done. Then this is an ambiance apparel. She loves flannel. This one she can't tie around her waist only because it's short sleeves. But I I like I like when like she likes wearing high knee socks with shorts and she'll put her little flannel around her waist. It's so cute. I think it's so cute when she does that. So I got her another flannel top. She can wear it open. Then I just got this little basic white um v-neck tee. It is from JC, it's actually JCPenney brand. I wish it was a size small because basic tees like this will just stretch out so i say whenever you find basic tees especially after at the thrift store and if they're super cheap get them every time because you only can get about one or two wears out of white shirts before they no longer have their color so get them every time even if you don't think you need it get it every single time um then i also got her these like 
they're like an emerald green it's by bullhead black denim leggings so i think these would be super cute on her and they're the skinny jeans so yeah she'll like this i'm gonna show y'all my favorite piece in a minute and then lastly just a regular light pink shirt my daughter is pink and purples it's a really light pastel pink if you can see that and they had a lot of these so this was actually brand new it says alternative vintage style so just something super cute this you guys i'm gonna turn around for this hold on i am about to take y'all back to brooklyn 1980 sitting on the stoop shut up say this is not from brooklyn in the 80s just imagine a spike lee movie i'm gonna rock this i was trying to find some acid wash jeans that i can actually fit so i could wear this i wish i had some classic reeboks my granny is having a 75th birthday party and we have to let me move this wig down y'all don't mind me because you know i just slapped it right back on because i just couldn't take it no more i couldn't take that ponytail i couldn't so we are having a it's going to be 60s 70s and 80s theme and i'm thinking of going as a 1980s hip-hop artist give me some really big bangles those glasses with like a cap like one of those um either a distressed denim cap or a cap something similar with this type of print but when i see stuff i'm gonna pick it up but this is so hot you guys it's actually like a reddish color it is in the size large um but this is so 80s this is so 80s and this is when they used to incorporate a lot of african um a lot of African print. Do you remember that? Like in the 80s, especially the East Coast artists. I was an 80s baby. I was born in the 80s. But just looking back at that stuff, 80s hip hop really embraced black culture a lot. They always had those vibrant prints. Even if you look at the hammer pans, they were always vibrant prints. They always did something like this, where they would add this bold, um, vibrant print that reminded us of african culture and it was like in the 80s we loved our heritage in the 90s it seemed like corporate america and society started making it seem like the more black you appeared and the more cultural you were the less you were it was this it was this wave of shame that came over the black culture and so i'm happy that we are embracing it as a people more but this reminded me it is this will be doing too much if i wear this to work y'all i can't i'm a professional but don't have a don't have a, a, a 80s kickback but i'm i really want to wear this to my granny's thing and just like oh my god i'm so excited so I'm not going to wear it until I decide if I'm going to wear it to my granny's thing. But, oh, I could just, uh, y'all, and give me those 80s style um, glasses. Don't tell me nothing. I'm going to be shorty do what? Shorty do what? I'm going to walk up in there because we having a talent show. Don't. A hip, a hip, a hippie to the hippie to hop. Something, something, you don't stop. Rock it to the. See, I don't even remember the words. So let me just stop right now while I'm ahead. So that's it, but a dollar. I can't even put it down, you guys. One dollar. Let me stop while I'm ahead. And then we will come back to the second part. My bad, I forgot. At this Goodwill, all the books are four for a dollar. All the DVDs are four for a dollar. I don't buy DVDs. I have DVDs over there that are just literally over there because it's a DVD rack. But I told my mom, take whichever ones you want. But I got four books. My daughter loves to read, so I got her this book, Goddess Girls, Athena the Brain. The only reason I got this is because this is Greek mythology. But we know there is one God. the fa God, the Father, God, the Son, and Holy Ghost. He exists in three persons, but there is one God. And so this is just... You know, this is Greek mythology. It's no different if we watch 300 or, you know, something like that. Troy. Um, yeah, so four books for a dollar. You have to get four. If you get one, you don't get it for a quarter. You get it for a dollar. Then I got her this Pearl the Cloud Fairy. So just another girly book. 
And then I got her Noah's Ark. Um, my children, before they go to bed, they have to read the Bible for 10 minutes each every day. And that's, um, I told them to start in Romans. And then I got this for myself. I have Kindle on my phone and on my tablet. However, it is something about flipping the pages that never gets old. That's it for the dollar haul. Now I went to Savers, and like I told you, when I was still there, a lady gave me her discount, which got me $14 off, and then I had two items that were 50% off. So I'm going to tell you the price of everything. This is a What is a Grandfather plaque. I love my grandparents so much, so I decided to get this for my grandpa. Um, I'm not going to read it, but it was $2, and I think it's so cute, and my grandfather loves fishing. He's such a honest, real man. Like, he is so honest, and just, he says whatever he's thinking. I promise you, he's a great guy. So, these pants are so cute. Um, they were $5.99, and they're like, look at the print, it's super cute. If this can wash and dry before my son's sparring, I'm probably going to wear these. $5.99. Um, I don't know the size or the brand or the material. Um, they don't really do polyester in modern clothes like that. But look, it's a big old bell-bottom pan, so it's going to look really droopy. Because I have these dang hips, I hope it don't look too, like, ugh. You know, when you're not, like, super, like, this will look really cute to me on someone who is probably like a size six or something but when you're too hippy it can make the pattern spread in a way that can be unflattering so we'll see how this looks but i got this top to go with it so i don't know if you can tell if i put it next to it this is perfect i was thinking i was going to do blue but then i just looked i was like nope let's go out the box it goes with that it's like a burnt orange color. It goes right with that. And this is just a cute little tank. And it's spring. So if it gets cold, I have a black jacket that I will put on top. Not that I got today, but this is a really cute tank. This was $3. And this also has no brand. Are they like ripping the brands out? Are you serious? Like get your lifesavers. But this top is in a size large so this was pretty cool for three dollars just a regular little tank top um this is again for Jaden. it's by xoxo so it was originally 549 so 550 so i got it for two dollars and 75 cents because all the yellow tag items were 50 percent off so look how cute this is this looks so cute she could even wear it over like I want her to wear a turtleneck with this with a cute skirt or like a turtleneck dress. But if she don't have that right now, oh well. So I've been on the hunt for turtlenecks. I wish I could have found them at the dollar one, but it is what it is. This is a black turtleneck. They had... Sorry guys, that was my husband calling again. That's the life when you don't have a camera and you record from your phone. Be quiet, Pepper! Uh, she does this every time So this was three dollars. This is like a it's like a ribbed turtleneck and by rib you see the lines that go down But this thing is in such good condition. So I Am either going to wear the turtleneck with this black turtleneck or I'm gonna wear a cream one But look at these bell bottom corduroy pants. These are um Brand new. They were only $5.50. Brand new corduroy bell-bottom pants. Look at this. It's like a burnt orange color. And I'm thinking it'll go better with the... Um, these are so cute. They are size large by P&S USA. So probably just some wholesale brand. But this is a corduroy... For $5.50. I'm thinking it'll look better with this white. It's like a more ivory color colored turtleneck. Look at this. Tucked in with those corduroys. And a nice little jacket or something. 
I don't know, but it has like a little sparkle to it if you can see it. So this, I'm thinking, let me know what you think below. The the cream one or the black one? I just think the cream one would make the um would make the orange and the corduroy pop more. I feel like it goes more together, especially for spring. If it was fall, I would do the black one to bring the colors more in and kind of drown them out. But because it's spring, I do want to be like... <laughs> then I just got some more work pants. They're Soho Apparel. I got them in a size 12. I don't know why I did that. They were $3.50. Um, I've seen this brand at Ross. I don't know where it originally is from, but I see it at Ross. Um... See, I got my daughter the flannel because like I stated, she likes it. And so this is long sleeve. So she'll be able to tie this around her shorts and I know she's going to like them. So I'm just going to keep getting her flannel since that's her little thing. And she liked the knee highs and the shorts and stuff. The knee high socks. Which you could get at the 99 cent store. <sighs> Sorry, I had a piece of spinach. Um, Yeah, so I got her that. Oh, I got something really cute in here. And I also just got these um, mechanical pencils. I hope they all have lead in them or this was a waste of money. Shut up. Do these suckers have lead? They do. These were only a dollar and fifty cents. Then I got these cute little sandals by Sam Edelman for four dollars. Which I will wear with those print pants and that burnt orange top. And last but not least, this was $13. This is so soft and comfortable, you guys. So soft. $13. Anyway, that's the end of my three. Okay, so I it stopped. You know why? Because it's too much going on, you guys. This is going to be kind of choppy, but oh well. This is the last item. This was $12. It looks bright. Oh, it ain't got no pockets. It ain't got no pockets, y'all. It ain't got no pockets. Even still, it is super cute. This gives that hip-hop jacket, like that hip-hop vibe, that urban chic. So this is more urban chic. <laughs> I'm just thinking, I straight took that ponytail off, y'all. <laughs> I straight snatched that sucker off. Like, make sure I got no spinach. Like, you're not finna catch me slipping in these streets. <laughs> but yeah. So, this is super, super soft, super cute. So, that's the end of my thrift haul, me and my lovely clothes are about to get changed. Well, my thrift clothes are about to get washed. I'm going to throw them in the wash and then I'm going to change my clothes. And yeah, I'm going to take a shower because I went to the gym and I went shopping. So yeah. And I'm going to give that wig, that ponytail to my mom. Don't worry guys, I got another wig. Which honestly, I don't think I need to change this one yet. Remember, this is my straight one. I have not recurled this hair from the time that I curled it on Monday or Tuesday. So, yeah. $40. I may just wear this one more week, you guys. And then pull out my other one. I may straighten it again. I don't know. But it's like I put the part all the way to the side just to match the part of that ponytail. That you ain't going to catch me in. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, 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 I'm so happy. Because I went thrifting, but I'm not happy about my stupid ponytail. Anyway, it's your girl Vintage Sister. Until we meet again, you vintage beauty, stay blessed, stay positive. Never give up on yourself. Whatever you are dreaming, don't wake up until it happens. Uh, I should write Hallmark, Hallmark cards. Vintage Sisters quotes. Right? Anyway. Um, I'm only happy because this wig still works. Because if it wouldn't have, I would have been pissed that I wasted my money. Do you know I could have got 13 items? Yeah, I'm mad now. 
Because when I put it that way, I wasted $13. I could have got 13 items. Until we meet again, Vintage Beauties. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. I love you all. Peace and blessings.